your favorite trader with a belt buckle. Did you hear? Did you hear the news? Show up fitness level one, level two coaches. <gasps> We're changing the game. If you're not familiar with Show Up Fitness, I wrote the book, How to Become a Successful Personal Trainer. We have physical gyms in Santa Monica, West Hollywood, San Diego, internship programs in LA and Austin. We're online all over the world. We have weekend seminars. We are changing the fitness industry for what it is. Bullshit. The average trainer gets a cert. I got my NASM. I got my ace. They give me the ace. Come here. Come here, ace. Here. We got my ace. I got my SSA. But guess what? As I interviewed in my book, Top Fitness Professionals, 90% of certified trainers quit within one year of getting certified. Why? Because it's so hard. It's a saturated market. It's not. Not when you understand the three fundamental problems within the fitness industry. A lack of functional anatomy, programming and movement competency. And that's what our level one and level two coaching is going to address. You have five minutes to be in front of a panel of three coaches. You need to be able to articulate what we're gonna be doing as trainers. Level two, you're gonna to need to be demonstrating training people. Why don't we challenge the status quo a little bit more? Look at what the certifying bodies do. They ask you 100 to 120 questions. Yay, I'm certified. And guess what is the number one email I get from people? 10, 15 times per week. Chris, I'm certified. P.S. Your belt buckle's fucking awesome. But I don't know what to do. I have clients that want to work with me, but I'm not confident. I have imposter syndrome. My mind goes, no shit, you don't know how to train people. You took a test. You need to be able to articulate what we're doing. You need to understand programming. You need to understand the human body and anatomy. That builds confidence. And I talk about that in my book, Help Nick. This isn't a knock to trainers that are out there. This is a knock to the fitness industry. And every year I see more and more coaches with a huge following. Come get my next cert. Here you go. You're not going to change the industry. You're playing the game. What's the definition of insanity? Doing the same bullshit over and over again, expecting different results. If you have the next best test, it's not going to work. Trainers are not successful because they don't have confidence. They've never had supervised experience. It's nuts to think about our job is to work with people, to train them one-on-one -on -one or small group. But yet to get in and to be a competent trainer, you don't even have to demonstrate that. So that's what's frustrating from a professional that's been doing this for almost 20 years, is I look around and people bitch and complain all the time, it's so hard to make money as a trainer. No, it's not. It's, it's so hard, such a hard thing I burn out. I love what I do. I wake up pretty much every day between four and five, and I'm stoked to do this because I get to help people, and I get to interact, and I love what I do. I wouldn't want to do anything else. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else in the world. I'd want to be right here in the fitness industry. And I feel for that person on their side because they're seeking more certs. I don't feel ready yet. I need that next cert. WLS, corrective exercise, performance, nutrition, $3,000 bundle. <laughs> right up the rear end. They're not giving you the tools to be successful. This is half my story, but it's also half the story of trainers in the world who are successful, coaches, therapists. And we want to change the industry and you're gonna get a lot of pushback because from that side of the table, I need a certification. Why? You want to go to a corporate gym? Get a cert. That's fine. We can help you pass NASA in a week. But then you need to get into the right hands to understand movement, programming, and so forth. I don't want to train in a corporate gym. I don't want to go to Equinox. That's all right. You don't need a cert then. Get our level one program. And I guarantee you'll know more than any coach that's out there. Here's my promise to you. My personal guarantee. So when you go through our online internship, in-person internship, weekend seminar. We're gonna give you the tools to be successful and you'll be able to create this into a career. Guarantee it. After 12 months, you still will be a trainer. In two months of our online internship, which will be geared towards show up fitness level one coach and level two. You will learn more in two months focusing on level one and level two than any certification money back guarantee. When you understand the 17 muscles of the shoulder, where they're at, the 20 around the hip, when you understand the agonists and synergies and why these muscles are working during the movement patterns, 
and you're able to articulate that in front of a panel within five minutes, your confidence is going to shoot up. Because when you take a cert test, it doesn't do shit. You leave there excited. Hey, take a picture. I'm excited. What the fuck do I do now? Because you don't have any direction. We have physical gyms. We can help you grow your business online in person, develop streams of revenue via our SWIFT analysis. That's what we're going to do is change the industry. There's going to be a lot of people that are going to get their panties and jock straps in the bundle. And that's okay. Go get your more certs. You're not going to be able to make this into a career. If you want to become a level one coach, here's what you need to know. The 17 muscles around the shoulder. You need to be able to articulate that with me. Not 15 out of the 17, not 13 out of the 17. The 17 muscles. Start with the rotator cuff, supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres minor, subscapularis. Go to the majors and minors. Rhomboid major, rhomboid minor. Pec major, pec minor. And then you have the teres major. The muscle that you can palpate. The deltoid, trapezius, latissimus dorsi, bicep, triceps. That's 14. Are the three that you're probably not that familiar with because they don't have them in textbooks. The levator scapula, the coracobrachialis, and the serratus anterior. Be able to name the 17, and now let's look at the lower body. What are the four quad muscles? Vastus lateralis, medialis, in between, intermedius, the biarticulate rectus femoris. Those are your four quads. On the posterior side, your hamstrings, the lateral bicep femoris, the medial semi, semimembranosus, semitendinosus, the adductor group, Dr. Magnus, Longus, and Brevis. The glute group, Mag uh, glute Maximus, Medius, Minimus. Then we have seven calf muscles. It's like a burger. You're hungry. The front one, anterior tibialis. Behind that, posterior. The most posterior is the beautiful gastroc. Underneath that would be your soleus. Then you have your three peroneal muscles. Peroneal brevis, longus, and tertius. BLT, you're eating a burger. So those are the 20 muscles of the lower body. And you need to be able to break down the movements. Horizontal push, what's the agonist? We're gonna keep it fairly simple on this one. You just need to know it's the pec major because of horizontal abduction and the triceps. Horizontal pull, you're gonna be posterior deltoid latissimus dorsi, biceps. Vertical push, it's gonna be your deltoid anterior medial and your triceps. Vertical pull, it's gonna be your latissimus dorsi and your biceps. A hinge versus squat. Hinge is more hip dominant, which would be your glutes. Squat is more knee dominant, which would be your quads. Shin angle is going to be vertical for a hinge. It's going to be more like this for a squat. And then unilateral. I call it unilateral. I don't like lunge because you tell an uneducated, certified trainer to lunge, you're going to have their clients doing lunges. You got to regress it. To understand the regressions and progressions is important with programming, and that's what we'll talk about next. So when you do a unilateral, you start with a step up. Sagittal plane, frontal plane, transverse, rotational. And then you're going to have a jump. If you jump like Tinkerbell, you're not going to get our level one program because you're not a coach. I don't know what the hell this is. We, 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 no, you don't do that. That's my number one thing to look at. If people do bench dips, they're jumping like Tinkerbell. They don't know what the hell they're doing. We create quality coaches. And last but not least, you need to be able to create a program on the fly, not 15 minutes in a room by yourself. You're never going to have to do that as a trainer. Our gym in West Hollywood is right on sunset. The client walks by and says, wow, this is an amazing spot. Can you train me? <laughs> Hold on. Give me 15 minutes to write a program for you. No. Hold up okay? Any injuries? Sign this waiver. Let's get after it. Go through the nine checkpoints of movement. We'll learn about them. We're screening. American College of Sports Medicine. We're screening for coronary artery disease. Real quickly, how's your ticker hold up? I'm analyzing their movement, going over their checkpoints. Good. All right, let's go through the movement. We push, we pull, we hinge, we squat. What are your goals? If you want giant arms, we're focusing on upper body. If you want a big caboose train, lower body. For the most part, it's going to be full body. So we're going to be doing a core, core accessory. An accessory is where you can have fun. What do you want to do today, Mr. Jordan? Oh, you want giant arms? Let's throw in some single jointed exercise, some bicep curls. And I'm going to get engaged. Now, if you close your eyes for a second, hold there. There you go. I'm going to push against you. Oh, my gosh, you've never done that before. That's what gets your clients coming back. And that's why you can charge the big bucks. So when you do it for three rounds, next one, core, core accessory. Last circuit, core, core accessory, same thing. You are designing a program. This is the show up fitness systemized template for success for new clients. Level two will teach you about the progressions and help your clients who've been training for longer than a month. You need to understand functional anatomy because if you don't understand functionality and you go right to programming, that's a cart before the horse. So, so many trainers today are out there 
and they're being led blindly by confident trainers who have experience. I hate experience. I get inquiries all the time. Can I train for your company? They don't address me by my name. I'm not all high and mighty, but if you reach out to a company, hello, mister, their name. I really like this article. I really liked your book. It's not hard to do a little research today. I had a question about how you could work for your company. I would really love the opportunity to, see, to prove my skills to work for your company. What does that entail? Then I'll say, you got to go through this program. You got to be a level one coach because I don't take anything else. Now some trader, get out of here. It's going into the shredder. I SSA, don't give a shit. Can you tell me the muscles of the shoulder? Tell me where they are. What about the quads, the hammies? Can you break down movement, progressive overload? When do you regress? When do you progress? And can you design a program on the fly? If you can't, you're not a qualified trainer. Get back to the line, rinse and repeat, get better at it, and then try again. For online interns, we got people all over the world right now. Italy, India, Czechoslovakia. We're going to take over the whole world with quality trainers. It takes patience and it takes hard work. But if you want to have that designation, level one show up fitness, it's going to take some time to get into the book, read 138, 150 to understand the programming, get into your anatomy. Our two month online internship is geared towards level one and level two. So when you're done with it, you can take this and you will be a qualified trainer. If you have any questions, love to hear it. Comment, like, shoot us a message. We're here to help you. Keep showing up and remember, Help someone else by smiling. Have a great day, y'all.